This time we will continue with another tool that you can use for static analysis and your reverse engineering as well. But with this particular tool with the name Bytecode Viewer, you can analyze your jar file or you can analyze the compiled .dex file out there. It doesn't come with your Kali Linux, so you have to install it. And again for the installation, just go with the same apt install bytecode hyphen viewer and just hit enter here. So after installation, what you have to do is just search here for bytecode viewer, open this one and here you can browse for your dex file that was again Dalvik executable which you have extracted in the past or you can simply unzip your apk file to get the dex files so let's say i'm using this application right now go with the documents application i'll simply create a folder here with the name android02 enter and simply create a copy inside this folder right and then let's extract this folder Let's extract this archive inside this folder go with extract and it's done right so here if you just go back you will also get the dex file which is here classes dot dex file if you want you can directly go with the apk file here as well just go with op files go with add and here you can also browse for your apk file but sometimes this gives you errors so if you get any error then you need to decompile the application with your any of the decompiler like JDEX and then you can analyze your source code inside this bytecode viewer under the bytecode viewer you get multiple decompilers as well like here you got all these decompilers like you can use Prokai, you can use CFR you can use JDEX, JDGUI, Phoneflower, Karakatu, Smileydex, bytecode or the hex code as well you can use all these different decompilers to analyze your java code at the same time and one more thing this will show you the java code in three different panels so you can analyze your code in three different panels at the same time one from let's say karakatu one from the cfr one from the bytecode viewer so you can use different three panels here so if i simply extract this one go with the com folder go with pen tester lab android 02 and if i go with this main activity dot class file here we got two different panels here Panel 3 has been disabled by default. If you want to enable this, you can go with the enable part. Let's say I want this color card to here. I want the Java code. And then after selecting the panel, you need to refresh your view. Okay, so color is not displaying some code. Not an issue. Like we can use some other page here as well. Go with the view. Panel 3. Let's go with Funflower is working. Bytecode decompiler was working. Let's go with Prokine here and go with the Java. And just refresh your view here and you will get the code now if you see the basic difference between all these decompilers you can see this was the code from formula this was the byte code or the compiled format here this is a bit little different to all these Java codes right this was the compiled byte code this was the formula decompiled Java code and this was the decompiled Java code from the formula and again, if you want to go with the basic difference, you can see the simple difference in those import lines as well. Like here, we have 8 lines to import the libraries. And here, we have around 13 lines to import different libraries out there. Right, from the Android or from the Java and from some other packages as well. So again, different decompilers will give you different, different codes. You can go with any decompilers as per your need. But one of the best that works here, that was a fern flower. And again, if you go with the settings, you can enable and disable other options as well. Like if you want to see the Maskai characters, if you want to modify your any kind of option for these decompilers, you can pick these options from this checklist here. So just go with these texts one by one and just refresh your view element. Otherwise, if you just go with the settings, you can also go with visual and you can also go with your font settings as well to increase or decrease. I have increased the font size, go with the refresh again and you can easily increase the font size here simple so from this simple bytecode viewer you will be able to analyze the java code easily as compared to your simple cli based tools here and from this one you can also use different decompilers at the same time if you compare this bytecode viewer with the quark that we have used in the previous session under the quark part like you have complete cli access 
but with the multiple decompilers with the bytecode viewer you have multiple decompilers and with the complete gui access which is a much better option to deal with so this was your bytecode viewer have a good day and stay connected